Hi friends! Today I want to share with you how I learned to paint with watercolors over the past two months. Last time I painted with watercolors was in the kindergarten, somewhere between the age of three to five. The picture I painted still haunts me in my sleep. I am still a beginner and I wasn't going to share this process at all as I started painting simply for my own enjoyment. I shared a picture of it on Instagram recently and some of you asked me to make a video. I've been painting for the past two months and I simply want to share the process from one beginner to another. So here it is. I was always into visual arts, photography, videos, silly sketches on random pieces of paper. In my understanding, anything you wanted to do in life had to be studied in school. You can't just pick up a brush or a camera and start creating, or so I thought. School, higher education, years of professional experience starting from the bottom up is the way to go. But I was mistaken. Art is far more accessible nowadays with online tools and internet. You can teach yourself anything, from the comfort of your own home, with no money spent on countless lessons. Though there is another side to it. This particular way of creating is less guided and can be very distracted. To create more and consume less, you need to stay more focused than ever. To create your own, find your own voice, without unintentionally copying someone else. But that's a whole new topic we'll discuss some other time. I'll get to the practicalities in a bit. Before that, here is an important thing to remember. I believe the biggest part of any creative process is the ability to see. I can apply this both to my videos and to paintings. You have to find a way to see beauty with your own eyes, even if you're not surrounded with anything aesthetic. Perhaps the reason why I started creating at all is because my life has never been aesthetic. I know, you watching this might think that everything or most things I show are pretty and you need the pretty space around you to start. I even received this comment the other day saying something along the lines of yes, step one is to get a beautiful house, try making art in my ugly apartment. Now it's sunny again. Well, let me tell you, all the spaces I have ever lived in have never been aesthetic or inspiring visually. Most of them have been the landlord's special type, with uneven white painted walls and layers upon layers of tiles by the kitchen sink. I even had rats in one of them. Trust me when I tell you that life that I live has never been aesthetic, but it doesn't mean that it has never been beautiful. The beauty that you see here is the beauty I create, not to be fake or portray an unrealistic way of living, but to make my own life as lovely as I can without being given that beauty by someone else. And I encourage you to do the same. Don't wait for a beautiful life to happen. Don't wait for an aesthetic apartment or spring in the countryside. What I always found to be true is that beauty indeed is in the eye of the beholder. Teach yourself to see it, regardless of where you currently are. This is step one to learning how to paint, or create anything for that matter.
I get so much positive feedback from you about my little speaking bits and I know that it's not for everyone because some people have told me that I speak too much in my videos and I better shut up but um, I decided that I'm gonna actually do the opposite and start talking more and I have to find a way how to integrate it into the videos and I'm not very good at just speaking, I'm good at writing it down and then speaking. I'm not good at talking to someone. I never know what to say, I always play back whatever I wanted to say later and I come up with such genius phrases later but not in the moment. So I have to really train myself, I guess. So this is what I'm gonna be doing from now on. And today I am home alone, so this is the perfect opportunity to test this out. And I am gonna show you how I learned how to paint over the past two months. Also, I killed my mic, like, few days ago because I went out shooting in the rain with a microphone and now it's not recording properly so I'm using camera inbuilt microphone and it's not very good and I hope the sound is fine and I will buy new microphones hopefully for the next video so let's get into it so I ordered my supplies on the 21st of March and today is May 29th. Let's now get to practicalities. I have to say that this is just my own experience and what worked for me. This here is my first sketchbook I painted in. It's made out of recycled paper and it is not intended for watercolors, but that's all I had. I also had some dried up cheap paint tubes I bought years ago and never used brushes that I had from paint by number kits. I knew from the beginning what exactly I want to paint. My focus was on landscapes. I knew that what I want to paint is nature that I see on my daily walks. I knew for sure that I didn't want to start with complicated shapes and faces. Narrowing down on the medium and subject was very important to me, as that made me more focused on the goal instead of trying many things and getting discouraged at the end. Then I started painting every evening, sometimes multiple paintings per day. I found pictures on Pinterest that I liked and tried to replicate them. That didn't quite work and I started searching for follow-along lessons. That also didn't work for me, I got overwhelmed quickly trying to keep up and realized that I have to figure out the way, a slower way, that would work for me personally. Essentially what was important in the beginning is learning to simplify things. My first mistake was focusing too much on painting details and objects, but instead I had to learn how to paint light and colors. Imagine you're looking at a blurry photograph. What you're seeing is more or less solid colors and light without much detail. Also, what I learned the hard way is that watercolor paintings really need to be planned out, starting from highlights to shadows, which wasn't very intuitive to me. I started learning from other artists' process videos, which I found on YouTube and on TikTok and Instagram and anywhere I could, trying to map out their steps from beginning to end, carefully watching how they do it, what they start with and what they finish with what goes on paper first and what last, then I replicated what they did. Then I looked at my own photos that I wanted to paint and applied the same thinking there. Taking a good look at the light and colors, I tried to determine each small step and begin there. Step by step, 
bit by bit has become my most important way to approach it, as well as taking every free moment of the day to practice. The reason why I want to share this process of learning with you, even though I'm not a skilled painter, is because life isn't all about perfection. People are often so scared to open up about their vulnerabilities and show the messy side of life, and honestly, me too. Why would you want someone else to know that you don't actually have it all together in life? Why would you want to show your mistakes or your imperfect beginnings? But what if we actually all shared the messy parts without fear? What if we weren't so afraid to speak out about imperfections and insecurities? What if we learned to love and value the learning process? I don't think I was ever told well done for pure effort. It was always the achievements that mattered. But what if I tell you that what you achieve does not matter? What if I tell you that no talent can ever outshine pure effort? I don't believe in so-called participation trophies, but I do believe in value of a journey, a value of a messy path, a praise for showing up every day and giving your best. Whenever the result is bad, you feel like hiding it, destroying whatever you've created, never letting it see the light of day. That leads to more inaction. When I anticipate that imperfection, I stop myself from doing things that I'm not good at. I stop myself from doing the new thing I always wanted because I'm afraid that the end result will be less than. How ridiculous is that? Create without any expectations. You don't have to justify your actions, your existence, your art. Just create, please. We will all inevitably reach the same end someday. Just enjoy the journey.